Daisy. Daisy. This little Daisy we all love because it seems to say, I'm come to tell good girls and boys that winter's gone away. Daisy. Snowdrop. Snowdrop. There is another flower, too, I dearly love to see. The little snowdrop peeping through the frozen ground at me. Snowdrop Primrose Primrose This is a pretty primrose In shady lanes it grows And early in the pleasant spring In gardens to it blows. Primrose Daffodil Daffodil Here is a formal daffodil through common Yet a favorite still, it seems such a joyous news to bring, as harbinger of pleasant spring. Daffodil May Blossom Beauteous little May Blossom, I am rejoiced that you are come to smile upon us once again after the winter's snow and rain. May Blossom Violet How I do love the violet, of all the flowers, it is my pet. How snug it hides its little head in the green leaves of its low bed. Violet Lily of the Valley Lily of the Valley Lowly Lily of the Valley, to me tell a useful tale. You say, be pretty as you will, yet modesty is lovelier still. Lily of the Valley Forget me not Forget me not. Forget me not, no lovely flower. I'll think on thee for many hour. If I could paint, I'd copy thee, then thou wouldst long remembered be. Forget me not. Tulip.
tulip. The tulip with its varied hues of crimson, brown, and rich dark blues. Thou scented, splendid you appear when thickly set in rich parterre. Tulip Rose Rose I cannot wonder that the rose is such a favorite flower. How beautiful and sweet it is with jasmine in a bower. Rose Sunflower Sunflower I don't admire the sunflower. It rears its head so high and looks so proud and seems to say, I am climbing to the sky. Sunflower Field Flowers Field Flowers But oh, the fields, they are so sweet, the gardens are so gay, that I should like to run about, and nosegays make all day. Field flowers. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. And now we'll see the greenhouse plants. They cannot bear cold air, yet with them many wild field flowers in beauty may compare. Greenhouse. <laughs> Turtles and geraniums. Myrtles and geraniums. The myrtles and geraniums seem mostly to abound, and these in the warm summer months are planted in the ground. Myrtles and geraniums. Camellia japonica. Japonica. Here are the rich camellias. Oh, it is a splendid sight. Some varied with soft tints, some crimson, and some white. 
Camellia japonica. Passion flower. Passion flower. How gracefully the passion flower along the trellis twining shows symmetry with colors fair, so pleasantly combining. Passion flower. Lemons, oranges, Oranges. The oranges and lemons too, all in their proper station, though robbed of half their native charms, invite our admiration. Oranges. But tell me now who made these flowers, who molded them so fair, who taught them with such rich perfume to scent the morning air, who filled their cups with drops of dew when parched with summer's rays, who tingled their leaves with brightest hue on which we wandering gaze. Can man such splendid dyes produce? Can he such colors blend? Can he the tendril graceful twine? Or the soft branches bend? Oh no, it's God who reigns on high, who formed the earth and heaven, who framed each star that lights the sky, who hath to mortals given. All these and more, and should not we, frail children of mortality, with thankful hearts each day, each night, think of His goodness infinite, and pray that gratitude may still our stubborn hearts with rapture fill. O oh, teach us humbly to adore Thee first. The last, the evermore. Thank you.